nearly 84 million internet users. So over 38 percent of the population in Nigeria are on the internet, one way or the other. Now we need to understand that outside of Nigeria, so everybody that is overseas, even if they are in Kotonu, even if they are in Chad, even if they are in Nigeria, even if they are in Ghana, everybody outside the borders of Nigeria, all of them estimated to be between 17 to 20 million, they are also online. So it is not just those that are in the country, which is 38% of the population, a little more than one third. Even those outside the country, they are online. Now we need to understand that by 2027, so in three years time, this number will grow to 117 million internet users. Punch newspaper in an article said that the amount of airtime and data, so when we talk about loading our gigs into our phones and our tablets, and the airtime credits that we used to call, we spent 2.59 trillion in the first months of last year, first nine months of last year. And this is just only from the statements of MTN and Airtel. We have not talked about the other ones. So it shows that we spend a lot of money buying data and credits. Now we need to understand that keyboard warriors, so all of you that are commenting on uh, Arewa Twitter, Arewa X, on Instagram, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, we've been very, very busy. Now, we have so many emergency bloggers and journalists every day. We've got it to a point in this country where somebody will have an accident on the road. You see, like, five phones will come out to come and film what is happening. Everybody's an emergency journalist. Everybody wants to come with breaking news. Now, millions of articles advertising all sorts of things. Every day, different languages are online. 24 hours and breaking news has changed the whole dynamic. When I was growing up, when you come from school, you put on the TV at around 4 o'clock, you hear, bang, 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 ba, 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 bang. Then you see colors on the screen, two of us. No, guys, some people are saying true. Even if they didn't experience it, they experienced it from their elder ones. Now, the thing is this. You will now wait. They will play national anthem. Then you will now see that they will come on. But now, any time of the day or night, if you put on your TV, if you go online, there is news. There are things to watch and there are things to see. I think it's around 9 o'clock in the night or so again. When they work for five hours, you will hear national anthem again and everybody will go offline. And that was how we were living life and it was good. Until people now started understanding the concept of 24 hours and more and more stations took over. Now, online, on your TV, on your radio, you put it on, even your satellite radio, you hear all sorts of things and all sorts of news comes 24 hours a day. Now, these are represented by these wonderful people in this hall. Both the soldiers and the officers. When we talk about the, our heroes past and present, in January every year, there's a day set aside. And it's called Armed Forces Remembrance Day. We need to appreciate the sacrifice of these people who woke up, decided to enlist in the army, in all these services, and put their lives at risk. Because one thing about this job is that you know when you are going out, but you don't know when you are coming back. Please, a round of applause for each and every one of them. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's not easy. Now, please, this is a bit interactive. So please tell your neighbor, say neighbor. It's not easy. But it's worth it. Now, our collective responsibility, it simply means what are we all involved in? What are we all supposed to do? Because Oga said something earlier on. He said our army. Because people feel it is only who is wearing camo and is wearing boots. That is the person that holds the army and is part of the army and it is their army. No, it is our army. We are all stakeholders. Please tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. We, are neighbor. we are stakeholders. Now please look for somebody. If the person beside you is keeping malice or is not smiling, look for another person. I'm not your neighbor. Look for another neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Hey, give me some for a swag. Because when I entered the hall this morning, this DJ was committing atrocities here. <laughs> now, what, why do we have 
published so many negative news articles because we're going to come back to our responsibilities. We must understand that it is our army. Now, why do we have so many negative news articles? Because I'm going to connect it at the end of this paper. Number one, bad news trends faster. They say bad news travels far. True or false? If they say dog bites man, people say, eh, maybe the dog has babies. Maybe the dog is wild. But if they say man bites dog, it now becomes breaking news. That is how social media and even the news nowadays works. You see people come out with something controversial. There's this young lady, I don't know if you've heard of her, Saja Budge. Saida, Saida Budge. Some people already nodding in the audience. Now, what has made her name come out more? A lot of people didn't even know she exists. But because she came out to say something controversial about how women should treat men, everybody has a comment. Everybody has an opinion. And it's because bad news travels faster. Shorter attention span. A lot of people nowadays, they don't pay attention for too long. There are too many things that are dragging for our attention. Information overload. There are days that you enter into even WhatsApp and you just say, okay, let me just quickly check status of somebody and come back. 30 minutes after, you are still online, checking other people's status. And the way they have done it is that it doesn't stop. From one person's status, it moves into another one. And sometimes you want to check something on Google. And just entering Google to know the meaning of something, 30 minutes after you are browsing on different websites, has it happened to you? It is designed that way. And it is because they know that people's attention span is short. The, the, the attention and time they will spend is short. So they continuously keep putting things that will attract you and keep you online. Now, why do we have so many negative news articles? Because people want to break the internet. Somebody will say they want to break the internet. Somebody will tell you they want to scatter the internet. So they are looking for controversial things. They are looking for negative things. They are looking for the one that eye has not seen and ear has not now, when we talk about scandals, we talk about, um, it was actually a short video clip. And the next thing they said, this is a baby that was giving birth somewhere, and that the baby has wings, like a bed on the back. And that video was going around. Now, normally, you may not even want to look at such a thing, but because you have maybe never seen such before, it will attract your attention. People are doing all sorts of things every day. They are trying to outdo each other. So that we can pay attention to them. People want to demystify. Everybody said demystify. So we want to make people not look like a big deal. We want to make institutions not look like as if they are important. We want to create some form of information that the other person has. And say that don't worry, we know their secrets. Those are part of the things people do. Trivialization. To make something that looks big to look small. To desensitize people. Every day when people send videos online and they are showing people that, that are headless or they are trying to show a hand that is swollen or they are trying to show terrible, terrible violence and accident scenes. All those things are trying to desensitize us. In those days when people see such things, they are very shocked. But because people have been overexposed to some of these things over time, the challenge is that it's not a big deal anymore. Another thing is that the truth seems boring. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Lies the sweets. Do you agree? No, that neighbor should answer now. Do you agree? You see, somebody will come. You will say, This truth is boring. It's boring. Let us add pepper. Let's add maggi. Let's add salt. Let's add sugar. Let's make it more interesting. And that is why we have so many negative things online. Because people are telling lies and because they think that the truth is boring. The next one is transfer of aggression. Everybody say aggression. aggression. Somebody comes online and says, all people of so so and so, they are rubbish people. The people that were insulted will come out and abuse them back. And that is how you have Twitter wars. And they'll say the children of anger of Twitter. And people will come out on X and say all sorts of things. 
This one will retaliate. And back and forth, people are transferring aggression. And people are feeling emotional. And people are having outbursts. Because everybody is trying to prove a point. That they never say prove. Everybody wants to prove a point. It's a case of I'm not a new, I'm not a coward. You cannot talk to my people anyhow. You cannot say this about me. And because people want to defend or look for some other people's trouble or trigger them, people become aggressive online. And those are part of the reasons why we have a lot of negative articles on social media. Now, can we read what is on the screen? Everybody, one, two, three, go. What is the baby doing? Some of you are laughing at the baby. Is it because the baby closed eye? Or because the baby is speaking teeth? Oh, it's a question. Now, it says, how it they concern me? You know, earlier on I said collective responsibility. All of us are all involved. Because together we stand, divided we fall. If all of us understand it, and understand the concept of our army, you will know that it takes concern me. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Tap the person if you can. Say neighbor. neighbor. Wake up. Neighbor. It concern you. Concern. So don't mind this baby thinking it and feeling cool. It takes concern all of us. Now, what is the motivation for the way people behave online? The first one is likes. Everybody say likes. likes. The second one is moods. What is moods? Mutual follow. I saw it on TikTok. I, I just noticed it some months back. I saw moods, moods, moods. I said, what is happening? They say it's mutual follow. I follow you, you follow me. And people are using it to try and gather numbers. So for likes, he said, for likes and comments, please. You see people come out. There's even one, they even created a song. They said, uh, they say, I have been on social media. Post your work, post your work. I have been posting my work. Nobody has been looking at it. And people do all those catchy things and sing. Some of them will even dance and be holding their product online. Why? Because they are trying to get your attention so that you can like and you can follow. Now, the next one is for fame. Everybody say fame. There are people that want to be famous. I had 50 cents this morning, so I can quote him. He says, get rich or die trying. Some people now, it's a case of get famous or die trying. So they are willing. They'll say, oh, wait, now, wait. Now, for some of them, they want to be famous. Famous is doing positive things or doing things that are acceptable in a society. However, some people don't care and they want to be notorious. Everybody say notorious. Those are the ones that can come and do hand like this and say, Waka, God punish all your fathers and disappear. The people will come out and say, whose fathers are you insulting? Or somebody will come out and say, oh, women are mumu. You will just drop it. Everybody say, drop it. And when you drop it like that, people will now be triggered and come out. Now, there are people who are doing that because of the spirit of breaking news. He say, I know. Ah, the army now, they say that their camel is green and white and purple and orange. It's a lie. But somebody will come back and say, hey, not true, not true, not true. Why? Because the person feels that the only way that they can try and generate buzz and trend and break the internet is by dropping breaking news, whether it is real or false. Another one, like I said, to trend, to create some unsustained drama. Do you know I heard that there are people now that we agree, they say let's abuse ourselves online. So this one will come out. Uh, sorry, please, who can I use? Uh, okay, what's your name? Please come outside. So me and Barry will have a meeting. Me and Barry will have a meeting and we agree, the two of us, we want to become popular. We need to do something so that the internet will notice us or we die. So we now come up and say... So, so we now come out and we say... Okay. Even the speaker is behaving like fake news. So now, me and Barry, we agree that we'll fight ourselves. What did I say? We have agreed to do what? But me and him, we'll sit down and soak Gary together in the same house. 
Barry will come out. He will tell me all these stupid people that he will put my name at so so and so. I don't know why they are misbehaving in this economy. You are doing this and da 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 da. I will now come out and say, see me you are talking to. And that is how we will be going back and forth. They will not be having supporters. Some people will come out from my tribe and will support me. Some people will come out from his tribe. Some people will come out from my religion. Some people will come out from his own. And that's how we'll be doing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because we are trying to be famous. Everybody say famous. But you see, such things are not sustainable. When you have done it, you now see all those Nigerians. Thank you very much. You see all these Nigerians will now come out and say, this will not fight, no, no sweet. This thing is boring. And after you've done it for a couple of days, one of the things I will advise every single one of you in this hall is to struggle to stay relevant. For a period of time, even after you die, you are an authority. Everybody say authority. You become an authority, you become a resource on a particular area, and even after you die, people will make reference to you. But when you keep coming out to do all these things, me and Bali will fight today, me and Oga will fight tomorrow, me and uh, civil defense will call out today, I will come and shout at Nigerian Army tomorrow, I will come and talk to prisons, immigration, sorry, they call them correction service now, road safety. I do all these things. At the end of the day, I become notorious. And people now will not take me serious. And I will slowly become irrelevant. Everybody say irrelevant. Now, why do people continue to do this? Because they want to introduce, so nobody knows them. So there is a case of, as I'm coming into this room, everybody should be saying, the emperor, the conqueror, the lion is here. That's their mentality. So to announce their presence on social media, they do all sorts of controversial things. Now, we also need to understand that some people have been there and nobody's remembering them. They joined Twitter the last five years and they only have three followers. Everybody say three followers. I was making you laugh now. Three followers. And one of the followers is their brother. The other follower is another account they set up to be following them. Then the third one is somebody that does not know what is happening, but just decides to follow them. So at the end of the day, you now see that because the person is trying to revive, they've been there for five years and they've been dormant. They've not been very active. They now try and do a lot of controversial things to gain attention. For clicks, everybody say clicks. People now say, oh, and on Mark's internet, on Mark Zuckerberg's internet, on TikTok, you see people doing all sorts of things. There was a video I saw, I don't know if you saw it, somebody's father, everybody says somebody's father. If you see the man's belly, the man now wore a knicker. He wore a very tight top and he was dancing and doing all sorts of things. I was shaking the belly aggressively at the camera. Now, why was he doing that? Because he's trying to ensure that the more people follow him, the more clicks, the more money he was hoping to get. And you see a lot of all those funny, funny things on TikTok. True or false? Now, to mark territories, to settle scores, somebody abused you, you too, you want to abuse the person, but people fighting. Can you fight? To build, sustain, or to destroy people's reputations. There are people who come online and the only thing they do is to go after uniform services. Somebody can sleep and wake up now and say, all oh, youth coppers are rubbish people. Youth cop members will come out and say, the person is a nonsense person. And that is how they will start. All those things they are trying to do to destroy reputations of individuals and institutions, those are part of the things that make people behave the way they behave online. To educate or inform, everybody say educate or inform. For every single one of you in this hall, you all have your areas of interest. You all have your talents and skills. There's a particular young lady online. The work she does on farming, she slowly has become an authority. When you need any information or if you have any interest in farming, especially now that food stuff is expensive, she will have more followers, true or false? Because people are looking for how to build small, small gardens and small, small things. And sooner or later, companies selling fertilizers, selling machinery for agriculture, governments can partner with her to create more publicity. That is the relevance we are talking about. To educate and inform. She's providing education and she's informing people. Idleness and boredom. Everybody say idleness. Boredom. Idle hand is whose workshop? Devil. Now you say she dance workshop. There are people that they don't have anything they are doing. They are bored. And they just go online and post. Everybody say post. And then later on, the 
makes me cry. Why did I put that thing? I was reading a comment one day online. And do you know what the guy did? He came back later to say that that comment he made, that that time he was high. May God help us. Uh -huh. We like prayers, but we must do the work. Now, what are the effects legal? Nowadays, we have people that are being sued. If you post anyhow, you will see anyhow. You cannot just come online now and malign people and slander them and put libelous content. Lawyers now, they are very, they are very happy to carry the case. People have been arrested because of careless things they put online. It is said in the court of law, I do not know it's not an excuse. A lot of these people come and they now realize that because they have posted anyhow, they are actually seen anyhow. So there are legal repercussions of whatever we see and do online. There's also the mental. Everybody say mental. There was a particular lady, the lady unalived herself. She committed suicide because people kept on harassing her online. We must be careful what we say to people. We don't know what their mental state is. There are people that are struggling with depression, struggling with all sorts of things. So when you come and post online, you do not know if what you are saying is the last straw that will break the camel's back. Physical, everybody say physical. physical. One of you in this online said they don't come again. Oh, oh Nigerian Army, they don't come again. Oh, they don't come again. Oh, they don't come again. And somebody comes and says they don't come again. What, what, what? He said, live in Zafara. We have this social media. Eh? You have created some form of interest creation material. But the thing is this, people might not come, say, where, where are they having the program? Can we attend? Oh, I have interest in social media. You have done your own part to educate and inform. That is, people physically coming to now show interest in the program. On the other side, you can come and say, they have landed in our area, they are killing people, they are destroyed everywhere, and people are knowing you. You can start a stampede. Everybody says stampede. I'll give you one clear example. Do you know that in a stadium, People can be sitting down and watching football. And the next thing, somebody shouts fire. Everybody say fire. And because of that one, people now get up and start running. Do you know that a lot of those people, maybe there's a real fire, but do you know that out of the panic and the confusion that you cause by shouting fire, more people may die from the stampede than the actual fire. True or false? Because as people are struggling to run away and they are climbing over and they are falling on themselves and they are trampling people to death. That stampede. Now, there are people who are specialists in creating stampedes online. They just come, throw half information, throw false information, and at the end of the day, there is a stampede. And when that happens, it can have physical costs. People can go, get shot, people can start fighting and break each other's heads, they can burn vehicles, they can burn buildings, and at the end of the day, somebody will come out and say, say, lie, but by then it's too late. Tell your neighbor it's too late. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. By then it's too late. Emotional, financial. We have people who come online and spread news, fake news about their competitor and make them to lose their businesses, make people to lose their finances. Security, like I said earlier on, half information and fake information, the costs are very high. So now, these are the key questions to all of us that are seated and in my case standing here. What's the first question? What's the first question? What's the answer? Second one is what? Every single one of us in this hall, we all have our role and we all have our level of impact. You may have five followers and one of those followers is your mother. But the thing is this, your comments you make on your five follower page can go a long way in supporting peace and unity or causing destruction and panic. We are going to talk about boundaries. Everybody say boundaries. Now tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Please, let's do it with Zanfala Swag. I'm talking to people. There's that man in the hall that was hailing people earlier on. Let me borrow some of his energy. My people, please answer me with yes. My people. Yes. Oh, yes, yes swag. My people. Yes. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Yes. There, there. I dare my day. If we understand the meaning of that, we've gotten the concept of boundaries. Because when you talk about boundaries, now when we talk about boundaries, we talk about etiquettes. You 
Come here, somebody says, Assalamu alaikum, what's the answer? I mean, that is call and response. Because we understand our roles and what is expected. When we go online, we should be very careful to have etiquette. One of the cultures I admire in the north is, is the way you people greet and you respect and you have etiquette for each other. Then your neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor. respect me. Respect. I respect you. Respect is what? Reciprocal. Legally, we must be very careful not to make comments that will land us in trouble. Like I said earlier on, I don't know is not an excuse in the court of law. We must be very careful. The next one is maintaining sanity online. Everybody says sanity. sanity. Now the first one is trigger warning. We have people, I don't know how many WhatsApp groups you belong to. Me, I belong to several. And you just have one person that has been quiet and be behaving like monitoring spirit on the group since. And one day the person gets a picture. Everybody say a picture. And you just come and drop it on the page and disappear. And people say, what is this? There's no trigger warning. All of us here, we must understand trigger warning. Trigger warning is somebody may look at something and be upset. Somebody may look at it and the person is sad. Do you know there are people who have learned about the death of their relatives online? Those are some of the things we do that we, that we think we are breaking the internet. But we don't know that it is affecting people. There should be trigger warnings. Everyone say trigger warnings. Things that can upset people. Things that can anger people. Things that can disturb people. We must be very careful if we must post at all. Even if it is on our status. Even if it is on our pages. We must put trigger warning. Everyone say trigger warning. The next one is fear mongering. That time in Lagos, somebody came out and was shouting, then they come, then they come, then they come. People now started running. You know Lagos, I'm sure you see some of those uh, skits they put on TikTok. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Do you know what now happened? People now started running. As they were not running, one man was not asking the other one. He said, who oh, they come? He said, no, no, I see people, they run, myself, I they run. Fear mongering. When you put people into a state of panic because of the things you post online, you are not helping situations. There are people that they may have a heart attack just receiving that news. Later on, you confirm that it is false or it was half news. By the end of the day, it is too late for that person. We must be very careful. Everybody said be careful. Yeah. AI. Artificial what? Intelligence. Now, who has seen that clip online? Robert Mugabe was the president of which country? Zimbabwe. He has been dead for some years, isn't it? Yeah, they will show a video and say in 1739, there was a man that ate plantain and said plantain is very sweet. What concerns Mugabe with plantain? Was Mugabe alive in 1739? Does he eat plantain? But he, they will put it like as if it is something that's happening recently. We must be very careful about cut and paste on social media. Artificial intelligence can make anybody Say things with their voice, with the face, but the person never said it. We must be very careful. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. neighbor. No, they cut and paste anyhow. Miss tagging. You see something, you tag. You spread it. Be very careful. Fake and distorted news. I think we have gotten that clear. Always verify. Everybody tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Check. 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 Always verify and check. Sensitive information and location. There are some of you that do not know that you can compromise security situations by giving away sensitive information. You go somewhere, you see people from far, you are snapping them. We don't know what they are doing. We should support our security services. We should support our army. We should support all these other people here and not post anyhow. We must be very careful not to put sensitive information and locations online. Anything that can compromise your security services, avoid it. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you post anyhow, you will see. The next one is cloud chasing. We must be very careful not to chase clouds. It is better for clouds to chase you than for you to chase clouds. You go online, you want to feel like a big boy. You want to do remain. At the end of 
start the day. Instead of you to do something, something will not be doing you. That is what happens when you chase clouds. very 